Welcome to the channel. I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your MetaMask wallet to Apex Pro. If this is your first time navigating to Apex Pro, I've left a verified link in the description of this video as well as in the pinned comment down below. Feel free to navigate to Apex Pro using that link. I'd also like to let you know that this is not a sponsored video and this video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. If you're brand new to Apex Pro, I do have a complete step-by-step -step beginner tutorial and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below as well as in the pinned comment for anybody that might find that helpful. Let's get into the video. If you use my link in the pinned comment down below, you should arrive on this page right here where you can go straight to connecting your wallet. If you've already navigated to the Apex Protocol webpage, you should be on this page here. Just make sure that it's the official Apex website. You don't want to connect your hot wallet to the incorrect DAP. The link down below is a verified link. From here, simply come up to where it says launch app and give it a click. To connect your wallet, just come over here where it says connect wallet and give it a click. Or alternatively, you can click on connect wallet at the top right hand side of the screen. Then you'll get a little pop-up window where you can choose the network as well as the wallet that you wish to connect to Apex Pro. As you can see at the time of recording, there's four different networks that you can connect with. Some of these networks will be less fees than others. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just use the BNB chain and I'll connect a MetaMask wallet. If your MetaMask wallet isn't already toggled to the BNB network, you'll be getting a little notification here to switch networks. So in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on switch network. Then Apex Pro is going to send you two signatures. One signature is to verify your ownership and the other one is to enable trading. You'll also see that there's a remember me button toggled on down below. It's important to note that only use remember me if you're using a secure device that you own. Selecting this option can expose your keys and information to others if you are on a public or non-secured device. I am on a secured device, but I'm going to go ahead and toggle that off anyways. And then when you're ready, you just click on send requests. Then I'm going to come back up here to my MetaMask wallet and I'm going to go ahead and sign these requests. That was for verify ownership and this one's for enable trading. Now my wallet is connected to Apex Pro. Then you might get this little pop-up window here and all this is letting us know is that the quoted currency of all Apex Pro perpetual contracts will be changed to USD. Assets will be calculated in USDC and USDC will be used for settlement. Changes in the USDC USD rate will not affect your leverage or liquidation price. I'm just going to go ahead and click on do not show again and confirm. Now we can deposit some funds. So to do that, we'll come over here on the right hand side and we're going to click on deposit. Then you should get this little deposit pop up window here. And in my case, you can see that I'm using the BNB chain and the asset is USDC which works perfectly fine for me. Prior to making this tutorial, I sent a little bit of USDC into my MetaMask wallet. If you're looking to deposit a different asset, you can give this a click right here, then select one of these assets from the drop down menu. Then we need to choose the amount. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on max. And you'll see right here, it says enable USDC on Apex Pro. You must enable USDC the first time you deposit on Apex Pro. You'll only have to do this once. So I'm going to go ahead and just simply click on enable USDC. Then I'm going to come back up to my MetaMask wallet here. And I'm going to go ahead and just put max for a spending cap, but you can customize a spending cap if you, if you want to. In my case, it's only 93 USDC, so that's perfectly fine. And then I'm going to click on next. And as you can see, there's a tiny little transaction fee here because I'm using the BNB network. And I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down and click approve. Now we'll come back over to our deposit window and we'll go ahead and confirm this deposit by clicking right here. Then we'll need to come back to the MetaMask wallet. And as you can see, the estimated gas for this is only 12 cents because once again, we're using the BNB network. I'm going to scroll down and click on confirm. Now the deposit is in progress and Apex Pro is estimating 45 seconds. Now my deposit is confirmed. And if we come down here in the order panel, we'll be able to see our deposit right here. And now we're ready to trade. And there you have it. That's how you connect your wallet to Apex Pro. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other Apex Pro tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.